My name is Richard Matthew and I'm part of an interdisciplinary team that works to build resilience at the intersection of poverty and disasters. Today, flooding has emerged as the most destructive force on the planet. We know why this is happening, but we are not yet bending human history away from more frequent and more destructive flood events. The potential for lives lost, people displaced, and property destroyed over the next few decades is almost unimaginable. We work with vulnerable communities to co-develop sophisticated visualization tools that everyone can trust and use. These tools allow decision makers and citizens to visualize their risk with unprecedented clarity and to experiment with interventions at any scale, from integrating green infrastructure to planning low-risk urban development. These models rely on data that are not always available, and so we have found ways to use inexpensive technologies to fill in gaps. Our tools connect what science understands to what communities tell us they value and want. We see this as part of a broader transformation that shifts the problem-solving capacity of engineers and social scientists to the realm of households and communities. The bottom line is that by 2050, flood damage could reach a trillion dollars annually, concentrated in the poorest parts of the planet. Our goal is to make our technology available to everyone, beginning with the 18 urban areas where need is greatest. Co-developing flood models with these communities will improve their resilience and provide the capacity they need to plan the urban futures they want.